how to draw a rain cloud in Adobe Illustrator. So first we want to enable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom into the grid and select the ellipse tool. With this selected, hold down the shift key to draw a circle and draw a circle in one of these squares. Now pick the selection tool, hold down the alt key to duplicate, duplicate this circle and drag it to the side of the original circle, right here. Then hold down the shift key while scaling and scale the circle like this. Scale it until the right side of the circle aligns with this line right here. Now once again, hold down the alt key to duplicate and duplicate this circle as well and then drag it to the side. This time, scale the circle until it aligns with this line right here. Next, pick the first circle, duplicate this one and place it right here. Then grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that covers these holes right here. So right from the bottom of this circle and all the way to the bottom of this circle. Then pick the selection tool, select all the shapes, go to the pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the pathfinder panel right here. Now go to the pathfinder panel and click on this button right here that says unite. And this will give us one complete shape. So now we have the cloud and we need to draw the raindrops. For this, pick the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to draw a circle once again and fill out one of these squares right here. Then select the line tool and draw a line from this anchor point right here and just make it quite long. Then go to the selection tool, select both shapes, go to the rotate tool and while holding down the alt key to get these dots under the cursor, click in the middle of this circle. Then type in 45 degrees and click OK. Now select the line tool again and draw a line from the right side of the circle and all the way up until it crosses the other line. Then pick the selection tool, select all the shapes of the raindrop, go to the shape builder tool and merge these two shapes together. Then hold down the alt key to subtract these two lines. And now the raindrop is all crooked, so double click the rotate tool, then type in 22.5 degrees, then click OK. Now pick the selection tool and as we can see the bounding box is all crooked right now. So to correct this, go to object, go to transform and go to reset bounding box. Now shrink down the raindrop to a size that you like. Something like this will be fine. Now give the fill of the raindrop a color. I will choose this blue right here. Go to the stroke and disable the stroke. Then select the cloud, disable the stroke of the cloud, give the cloud a gradient, choose the gradient tool and make a nice gradient from the bottom of the cloud and all the way to the top. Then select a light and a dark gray as the gradient for the cloud. A very subtle gradient like this will look great. Now go to the selection tool and select the raindrop. Then to align the raindrops, we need to disable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view again, go to hide grid, then go to view again and unselect snap to grid. Then select the raindrop and drag it all the way to the side of the cloud until it snaps like this. Then make a copy and hold down the shift key while dragging it and drag it all the way to the other side. Then copy this one, hold down the shift key while dragging it and find until it snaps to the middle. Then select the right raindrop, hold down the shift key while notching it to the left three times with the arrow keys. One, two, three. Now select the left raindrop, hold down the shift key and notch this three times to the right. One, two, three. And to make sure the spacing between these raindrops are the same, select all the raindrops, go to this drop down menu right here, make sure align to selection is selected and click on horizontal distribute center. And as you can see, the middle raindrop wasn't aligned. Now copy these three raindrops and put the copies underneath them. Then delete this raindrop, select these two raindrops, right click them and click group. Then select these three raindrops, right click those and click group. And now the final thing to do is select everything, go to this drop down right here, make sure align to selection is still on and simply click horizontal align center. 